I have so many updates, so many updates. First of all, I went to the doctor for my eyes. That's weird. It makes me uncomfortable. Like, it makes the inside of my body itchy. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to show you before we leave the house. So anyway, that's kind of it with the doctor, but I do wanna tell you one more medical thing. And I immediately was like, I don't know if I can handle this. No, that was the dumbest decision I've made in a long time. Hi, this is Katie. In today's video, I have so many updates. So many updates. First of all, I went to the doctor for my eyes. So in a few minutes, I'm gonna tell you what happened at the doctor. I'm gonna tell you what she said. And okay, that's gonna be in a few minutes. And we are gonna be like running out and doing some errands and doing some stuff out of the house a little bit. But I also wanted to show you a couple of the products that I bought in my last video. Um, I have some makeup, I have a couple things that I wanted to show you me using them right now. So really quickly, I have most of my makeup on. Um, I just don't have blush and bronzer on. And so in my last video, I did buy two new blushes. This one I already took out of the packaging, but I bought two of the new e.l.f. Camo liquid blushes in the color Pinky Promise and Peach Perfect. I'm gonna do one on each cheek and then like show you what they look like and then I'm just gonna do the opposite on the other cheek so that like they're equal you know what I mean um, so I'm gonna do this I'm going to use this hair thing it's basically a hair eyeshadow thing that I'm gonna use I think that's actually really it for this segment it'll be two seconds but I mentioned in my last video that I was gonna order a little mirror so I got this one on Amazon it was like six dollars and is there a brand? No, it's not even a brand. Oh, it does come with a little charger though because there's LED lights on it, but it's just a mirror. And it has, oh, this is nice actually. This is a really good mirror for $6. And it has a 3X magnification as well. Sorry if that's too much uh, to look at. Anyway, okay, let's do the blush really quick. This is charged already with like the little light. I almost just dropped it. I don't need the light right now. Okay, so yeah, because I'm going to use Pinky Promise on this side and then the peach whatever on this one. So let's do like that much and see. I just have this brush from Japanesque that I'm pretty sure I got at TJ Maxx. I'm still not wearing eye makeup for uh, still probably a while, but I can still put face makeup on and blush and eyebrows and lipstick and stuff. Okay, so that's what that one looks like. I still did not buy a new ring light. I broke it weeks ago and I'm still just using it like broken. Okay, but that's that color. That's pretty. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. Okay, so now I'll get a different brush and I'll put Peach Perfect on the other side. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna like this color. I usually don't like peaches, but I mean, I like the fruit, but I usually don't like peach colors on my skin, but I was like, you know what, Katie, try it. See if you like it. I usually like the brighter colors, but okay. I'm just gonna use this little Sephora brush that I have. Okay, what do we think? Can you tell? How's the lighting? Horrible? I think that this one's obviously lighter, it's more muted, more natural, but I really do like the brighter pinks. But I'm gonna add a little bit of this one on this side and then a little bit of the peach one on the other side kind of mix them together i don't know if that's going to work since i already blended one out but whatever and p.s i'm sick which again i'll talk about in a minute but if this video seems really off i don't feel good i don't feel good i'm not contagious or anything but i do not feel good so I just don't know like what my demeanor is in this video, but I still want to hang out with you guys. Um, okay, a little bit of blush on my nose. Is that fine? I can't tell because it's so dark in here. Like it looks brighter on the camera than it does in real life. It is so dark in here. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. I'm just going to put on a tiny bit of bronzer, the Milani Silky Matte Suntan. And then I'll put my lip product on in the car. But the next thing, where are my glasses? The next thing that I want to do. Hello. Hi. The other thing that I wanted to try really quickly was this Clairol Root Touch Up. And it's basically a hair eyeshadow that you put on to cover your grays and or to cover like thinning spots in your hair. I got this uh, when I was at Target. So I got this because I do have some grays that I don't like. But also when I wear my hair up like this, you can tell that right here is pretty thin. So I wanted to see if like 
this would work and look kind of natural to fill out this spot. So I'm just going to put a little bit here to cover the grays. I think it kind of works if you just have like a little bit of a root. I'm just going to do the front. <laughs> Can you tell the difference? Okay. But yeah, I'm curious to try like right here. And then maybe I'll get like a bigger brush, like with nothing on it and just blend it a little bit. How's that look? I think that looks good. Or does it look fake? I can't tell. I can't tell again, cause the lighting and stuff in here is uh, trash. Okay. I just put a lot on, but let's see if we just kind of like blend it a little bit. I think that worked. I think that worked. Let me know. I think that worked. That's kind of exciting. Okay, so I think that we like the blushes. I think that we like this. I don't know if I like the peach blush enough to keep it. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna like try it on a couple more times, but I definitely like the other one enough to keep it. Um, And this mirror is good. Oh, it doesn't snap close though. Isn't that weird? You know, like most things like have like a snap. This doesn't, this just closes. That's weird. That's weird. It makes me uncomfortable. Like, it makes the inside of my body itchy. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway, okay. I know I said I was going to put lip products on in the car, but I need something on my lips right now. I'm just going to put on whatever this is. Maracuja Juicy Lip, but I don't know what color because the sticker came off. This one. No clue. Okay. The other thing that I wanted to show you before we leave the house is uh, in, I don't think my last couple videos, but I think maybe a video from last week, I talked about how my shoes were just sitting in the corner of my closet and they were like all disorganized and I didn't like it and I wanted to find a way to organize them better. And so I ended up purchasing on Amazon a hanging shoe shelf thing. As much as we like the blush and stuff, this uh, did not work out like I was thinking because it is about half the size as I thought it was going to be. And so I thought it was gonna fit basically all of my shoes, but actually it's only gonna fit like half of my shoes. And so I'm not sure if I'm just gonna return it and buy something bigger, or if I'm just gonna buy another one of those and just have them next to each other. But I'm just gonna show you really quickly, like how big it is with my phone. Okay, so here's my closet and here is the hanging shoe organizer. So I assumed, and you know what? They probably had the dimensions and I just skipped over it, but I just assumed that I was gonna be able to fit a full pair of shoes in each little cubby. But obviously, as you can tell, they're too small for that unless like I really shove them in and that's gonna defeat the whole purpose of me feeling organized, you know? So I can either just buy a second one of these and just double it up or I can return this one and buy a bigger one. But yeah, for my sneakers and my bigger shoes, it only fits one per cubby. When it comes to sandals, I can fit a whole pair in there. Honestly, I could maybe even fit two pairs in there, but yeah, so. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do. I'm either just gonna buy a second one of these or just buy a new one. Okay, so obviously the next thing that I wanna to talk to you about is the doctor, but I wanna finish getting ready and drive to Ulta first. So once I park, I will tell you the whole story about going to the doctor. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys in a second. Hi, yes, that toilet paper is still there from my last video. I didn't bring it inside yet. Okay, so I just parked, I'm at Ulta, and I just wanna tell you what happened at the doctor. So I've explained the story about my eyes in several videos at this point, but just to give you like a 10 second recap, I have been having like really red, puffy, itchy, swollen, like really dry eyes on and off-ish, but for the last like month or so. And you know, like it was bad, then it was okay, then it got really, really bad, and then it got okay, then it got really, 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 really bad, and then it started to get a little bit better, but I still just decided that it was time to go to the doctor because even though I was pretty sure I knew what it was, I still thought that it was maybe time to actually get like a medicated cream and just also like a doctor's opinion. And so I went to the doctor yesterday and even from a couple feet away, when she looked at my eyes, she's like, yeah, you're having an allergic reaction. It's dermatitis, it's eczema, like all the things that we thought it was over the last few weeks, that's what she said it was. And she, without going through a lot more testing, she also could not tell me what was causing it. And so again, it was kind of similar to what we were talking about where she said it could be environmental. Uh, a lot of people have really bad allergies in Florida. There's a person walking right next to me. I always get like a tiny bit nervous when people walk next to me still. Anyway, yeah, so she does not know if it's environmental, if it was a food that I ate, 
or if it was something that I put on my face, if it was something that I put on my hands and then I touched my face, if it was shampoo, conditioner, if it was makeup, we have no idea. And obviously there is, you know, certain types of allergy testing that maybe you could test that kind of stuff. But at least what I've learned over the last few years of having allergies, a lot of those tests are not super accurate. And it's kind of more like you have to just test things yourself and then see what affects you or not. And yeah, so that's what she said it was. And so she gave me a cortisone cream to put on my eyes and she was also going to give me some sort of allergy medication and then she saw that it had dairy in it and then she was going to give me prednisone but that also has dairy in it and I'm allergic to dairy. It's so weird that so many allergy medications whether it's prednisone and all that kind of stuff or even just like over the counter like Zyrtec a lot of that stuff has lactose in it a lot of it and I'm like hey if you're gonna make an allergy pill why don't you leave out one of the main allergens that people have. But anyway, so she just kind of said, you know what, we're not going to give you an allergy pill. We're just going to give you the cream and the cream should help by itself. The pill just would have made it like heal quicker, but she's like, the cream should help by itself within a few days. And I'm like, that sounds great. And so she gave me this cream. I've been putting it on my eyes since yesterday. She like twice a day. So I've put it on three times since then. And here's how my eyes look right now. There is like a tiny bit of a filter. I'm using my phone right now, but the puffiness underneath my eyes is basically gone which is really cool. And I do have blush on and makeup on, not on my eyes, I don't have makeup on my eyes, but I do have makeup on and I have blush on. And that does make the redness of my eyes kind of blend in a little bit more, but like this is still definitely red. This was my worst eye. My left eye was my worst eye, but that's still definitely red. And it's still really dry, like, on my eyelids and underneath my eyes. Um, and my actual eyes are totally fine. She even said that too, like that I don't have pink eye or anything like that. My actual eyes are fine. This is literally just a dermatitis allergic reaction that I got on my eyelids and underneath my eyes. And again, it could be environmental, could be food. It could be something I put on my face. It could be something on my hands that I touch my face. It could be anything. And so I'm basically just going to go back to all the products that I was using before this happened because about a month ago when all this started, I did start using a couple new products. And I think initially I wasn't really thinking about it because I was only thinking about what I was putting on my eyes. But if we're talking about like my whole face and my head and like everything, my hair, I started using several new products. And so I have no clue which one of those it is. Here's the thing. We don't know if it was any of them, but it's likely. In my head, and like with my experience of this, it does seem the most likely that a product I was using was at least part of the issue. And so I'm returning all of it and I'm going back to using the products that I was using before. And so some of the products that I have returned and that I'm returning right now, like that's why I'm at Ulta, I returned the Ilia eye cream because I was curious if that's what initially started it. I just stopped using the Skin Fix eczema cream. Like I used that because I thought it was dermatitis eczema. I started using that and then it got worse and I'm like I don't know if it's because of that or something else so I'm just gonna stop using that and then I bought a bunch of Olaplex products because I've been trying to like treat my hair a little bit better and I was out of shampoo and conditioner and so I wanted to switch brands and try Olaplex and I bought their shampoo conditioner and a bunch of leave-in products and again I don't know if like the shampoo went on my face or if one of their leave-in products I was spraying it it got on my face you know or if it was in my hair and then I touched my face after I touched my hair whatever I'm really good with washing my hands and washing my face but again if it was something that was on my hair sometimes you touch your hair and then you touch your face you know so we really don't know so anyway i'm returning all the olaplex stuff i also was using the monsieur big mascara which i've used in the past and then ulta had a sale on the mini one the mini one was only like eight bucks and so i got that recently too and i've used it in the past but i have not used it in a couple of years and we can develop allergies and so i'm just going to stop using that too and she even recommended to switch to more hypoallergenic makeup especially eye makeup and so while i'm at Ulta and Target, I might look for a good hypoallergenic mascara that I'm not going to use anytime soon, but maybe in a week or two. And so anyway, I'm here to return a bunch of stuff. Um, but one more thing that the doctor said is that I have a sinus infection. So <laughs> it's like a fun little surprise. But the other day I said in one of my videos that was posted the other day, I said like, oh, my sinuses just always hurt in Florida. Like my sinuses hurt right now. Yeah, they were hurting like extra that day. But since they've been hurting kind of on and off, but basically since I moved here, honestly, I just kind of got used to it. I was just like, my face just always hurts in Florida. I just kind of got used to it. But while I was at the doctor, I was like, hey, my sinuses hurt. 
And so she looked at my throat. She's like, your throat is red. And I'm like, my throat doesn't even hurt. She's like, yeah, but it's probably post-nasal drip that's dripping down. And then she looked up my nose and she's like, your nose is red. She's like, you have a sinus infection. And I'm like, cool, great. Uh, she looked at my ears. My ears were fine. She checked my lungs. My lungs were fine, which is great. And I had a sinus infection like two-ish months ago. I don't remember when that was, like October or November or something like that. I had a sinus infection. And it took me a few weeks to go to the doctor. If you watched those videos, it did take me a couple weeks to go to the doctor, but this was the same doctor and I really liked her last time. And the antibiotic that she put me on, I really do not like being on antibiotics. Like I really don't, but I have just not been the healthiest person. And so I have been on several, like several in my life, but I haven't been on them in a couple of years, but then I had the sinus infection and I waited it out for a couple weeks taking supplements and taking like a uh, gluten-free NyQuil and all that kind of stuff. And it just was not going away. And so I was like, okay, I probably need an antibiotic. So I went to see her a couple months ago, got an antibiotic and I felt better at least from that like bout of it, you know what I mean? And I just kind of went back to like not feeling great, but at least better than I was. And so when I saw her yesterday, Yesterday, she literally said she's like it might be the same sinus infection that you had a couple months ago that just never went away and I'm like awesome um, she's like or it could be a new one like we don't really know and I also told her how exhausted I've been lately and that could be a couple things you know but she's like it could be because you've had this sinus infection for potentially a couple months at this point maybe it could be a new one but regardless she said this kind of sinus infection could make you really exhausted so it could be that, I don't know. Regardless, I did agree to go on another antibiotic, which again, I really don't like doing, but I have just not been feeling good basically since I moved to Florida. And so this is kind of one of those, like you pick your battles. And so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go on an antibiotic. So I have an allergic reaction, dermatitis on my eyes, and I have a sinus infection. So anyway, that's kind of it with the doctor, but I do wanna tell you one more medical thing. That just is a, just a little added bonus. Again, I really need to work on letting this stuff kind of go and focus more on God through all these things because sometimes certain medical things really overwhelm me, including the one that I'm about to tell you. I already mentioned this on Instagram. Sometimes I do tell Instagram things before I tell YouTube just to let you know. So if you wanna follow me on Instagram, it's just Katie Carney over there. But yeah, so really quick story. About a year ago, I developed tinnitus in my ears, which is like a ringing. In my case, it feels like a static and it feels like always kind of like clogged. And it sounds like a static in my ears. And I got that about a year ago from just going to way too many concerts without wearing earplugs. And so I started wearing earplugs whenever I'm near anything loud, especially like at church, because there's live music there and any place I'm going to be with it, loud music or just loud anything, I wear earplugs. I have loop earplugs and I have them on my keychain. I have them all the time. So this past Sunday, I went to my church and then I got invited to go to another church like later in the morning. And I was like, great. Yeah. Double church. This is awesome. And so I went to that church and I walked in and right before they started playing the music, like right before. So like they were kind of starting to play, you know, like a couple of people like starting to play their instruments. I was like, this is the loudest thing ever. And they weren't even totally playing yet, but I'm like, this is loud. And then they started playing and I had my earplugs in, by the way, I had my earplugs in, but they're not like total, total cutting out the silence type of earplugs. They're more like, um, you can wear them and you can still kind of hear certain things around you. You know, the ones that I have specifically, they're loop and they're called the engage plus are the ones that I have. I mean, I do have multiple pairs, but the ones that I was wearing were the engage plus ones. And they do really like drown out some of the sound, you know, but anyway, I was at this other church that I've never been to before. And when the music started playing, I'm not kidding. It was the loudest thing I've ever experienced in my entire life, even with my earplugs in. It was the loudest thing. I've been to so many concerts. I have sat on stage while a band was playing before. I have been right in the front. I have been near loud stuff before, even without earplugs. This, at least as far as I can remember, because I'm a little bit older now, you know, we experience things a little bit differently, but at least as far as I can remember, this is the loudest thing I've ever experienced. And I immediately was like, I don't know if I can handle this. But then I also was like, no, Katie, like maybe you can. Like you have your earplugs in, nobody else around you even is wearing earplugs. So like you can maybe handle it. No, that was the dumbest decision I've made in a long time. I lasted one and a half songs. So about, I don't know, seven-ish minutes or so. And then I was like, I have to leave. And I left. 
And long story short, it made my tinnitus worse. And now it's been three days and my tinnitus is worse. And here's the thing with certain types of tinnitus, certain types of ringing in the ear, stuff like that. Sometimes when you leave a concert, your ears ring for a couple days and then it goes away. That's kind of initially what happened with mine last year was that I left a concert and my ears were ringing and I was like, why isn't this going away? Like usually it goes away, you know, by the next day or something like that. I'm like, why isn't this going away? And then after a couple weeks, I was at the doctor and he's like, yeah, it's because you damaged your ears. And I'm like, oh, is it curable? No. Is it treatable? Not really. Cool. So I'm just going to have this forever. Yeah. So I have for the past year had to learn to live with, again, for me personally, it's not a loud ringing. It's more of like a dull kind of ringing, like a staticky kind of sound. And so just over the last year, I've had to learn to live with me making so many mistakes and dealing with the consequences of it, basically, of basically probably forever like static in the ears. And then when I went to church this past Sunday and it was the loudest thing in the world, it made it worse. So it's louder now. I can hear it more often because basically my tinnitus for last year, if I was just doing really anything, I wouldn't really notice it. I would only notice it if I was lying down or if it was like really, really quiet. But most just regular day-to-day -day noise, I wouldn't really hear it. But now after Sunday, I hear it more often and it's a little bit louder than it was. And I am so mad at myself. You know this about me. I get really mad at myself if I'm make a wrong choice or I make like a bad decision or I make a mistake. That's something that I know I need to work on. And so, yeah, it is possible that this is just more like sometimes after a loud concert, you have ringing ears for a couple days and maybe it will go away. It could be that, or it could be that I actually made my forever tinnitus worse. I'm not sure yet. It's only been a few days, but um, yeah. So it's just kind of like this whole part of my body is struggling right now, but we are uh, doing what we can to be grateful for life and to praise God through all of it. And just honestly, honestly, out of all this, my sinus infection, my eyes and my ears, my ears are the worst by far to deal with, especially, I mean, mostly obviously because it's a potential and probable forever thing. And so if you have tinnitus and you have found anything that helps you, please let me know. I think I'm going to get a white noise machine for at night. Cause again, I said it is worse for me when I lie down and when it's really quiet. So obviously like when I'm trying to go to sleep, I have still been able to sleep the last few days, luckily, but I think I'm gonna get a white noise machine that might help a little bit. But if you have found anything that helps, please let me know in the comments. I know that there are some eardrops and some supplements that say that they help, but they all have bad reviews. And I did see something online that said like sound therapy can help, which is like a, you know, like a professional would do that. And so I might look into that, but yeah, let me know in the comments because this is one of those things that is very hard for me to accept even over the last year. And so now that I potentially made it worse, I'm just angry and, I'm having a hard time dealing with it. So anyway, I think that's all the updates on my medical stuff. And so now I am going to go return 4,000 things from Ulta. I kind of feel bad. I didn't use all of them. So they can put those back on the shelf, but I kind of feel bad, but I'm allergic to it. So like, you know what? Maybe I don't feel bad. I mean, I don't know if I'm allergic to it, but I think I am. Like it makes the most sense that it was something that was on my face. But anyway, I'm gonna go to Ulta, return a bunch of that stuff. And then while I'm in there, I'm going to look at maybe some like hypoallergenic mascara and maybe like an eyeliner or something like that. And then I'm gonna go to Target and return, what am I returning at Target? Oh, okay, I'm returning these toothbrushes. I got these in my last video. I'm returning them because I found another toothbrush in my bathroom that I just didn't realize that I had. And so I don't need these. And so I just switched my toothbrush like a couple days ago. And I think in three months from now, I'll probably get more of like a professional kind of toothbrush anyway. So I'm gonna return that. And yeah, so just a couple errands while I'm out here. And, uh, oh, also, since I have to return all this Olaplex stuff, I did already buy a new shampoo and conditioner. I'll show you at home because I bought it the other day. So I'll show you that when I get home. I bought a new shampoo and conditioner. It's just the shampoo that I used before this, which I have shown you in videos, but I'll just show you again. And then I also did get another shampoo by the same brand. So I think it'll be safe just to try out a secondary shampoo. And then I got a leave-in product from another brand that I've never used before, but they promote their brand as like skin hair care. So like it's hair care, but like they really care about your skin. And it was, I think, developed by a dermatologist and it's hypoallergenic. And a lot of their products are fragrance free, which is so hard to find in hair care. And so, yeah, I think just from now on, I'm going to slowly-ish 
start switching to a lot more hypoallergenic and fragrance-free products. In terms of my hair care, my skin care, my makeup, but also in terms of like cleaning supplies and stuff, you know, there are a couple cleaning supplies that I use that are fragrance-free and on the natural side, but there are some things that I use that are just like regular things from the store. And so, yeah, I'm gonna start slowly switching over. Also, that hair care brand that I said is like hypoallergenic and all that kind of stuff, I bought one of their leave-in products, but I might also try their shampoo and conditioner as well because it just is less likely that I'd have a reaction. Obviously you still never know because you can be allergic to anything, but if something says hypoallergenic, it just means that it's a less chance that you will have a reaction to it. And so I might try their shampoo and conditioner as well. I'm not really sure. Regardless, I'll show you all that when I get home. I'm probably not gonna film while I'm out here, unless I do find a mascara, then I'll show you that. Um, but I'm really just going to return a bunch of stuff. But so yeah, I'm gonna go run into a couple stores and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, I didn't get anything at Ulta, but I wanted to record for a second, even though it's getting dark out, to see if we could see the blush. I think it looks nice. I don't know what that noise is. Oh, there's a car, like an oil change place or something. Might be a vacuum. Hi guys, I just got home and I just want to finish this video by showing you the shampoo and conditioner that I got at Ulta the other day. I did not end up getting a mascara or anything. I saw a couple hypoallergenic ones by like Alme and a couple other brands, but if you have a favorite hypoallergenic mascara and an eyeliner, please let me know in the comments what they are. Okay, so my camera just told me I have four minutes left of footage, so let's see if I can do this in four minutes. Okay, so I think I mentioned earlier that I might try a new shampoo and conditioner by the brand Scene because they're supposed to be like really good with like hypoallergenic safe stuff. But at least for now, I'm just gonna go back to the shampoo and conditioner that I was using previously, which was the Pacifica Cocopeptide Shampoo and Conditioner. And so I just got that. And then I also wanted to try the Pacifica Rosemary Purify Clarifying Shampoo. Just, you know, every couple weeks or so, I might wanna use this to like really get all the product and build up out of my hair. So I got that. And then the last thing that I got was by the brand Scene. I ended up getting their Magic Serum. And this is like an everything, basically. This says that it delivers shine, locks in moisture, controls frizz, nourishes, strengthens, protects hair from heat styling and breakage, and it does not have hidden irritants or pore clogging ingredients. And so I wanted to try this, um, especially because Pacifica does not have a heat protectant. And so I wanted to try this one. And yeah, that's what I got at Ulta the other day. So I just got home, it's 7.55 and I have not eaten anything today except for a bowl of cereal and some crackers. And so I'm gonna go eat dinner. I hate eating this late, but I just kind of lost track of time which I don't usually like doing, but that's what happened. And so I'm gonna go make some dinner. So I'm gonna close this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed kind of just a little update on my health and on some beauty products and some random stuff. So I just hope that you enjoyed this video. I really hope that you're enjoying all these vlogs that I've been doing lately. I really hope that you're subscribed if you do enjoy them. And yeah, I guess it's gonna be it. Thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. I still have a minute left of footage. All right, um, I'm still gonna go, but we beat the clock. All right, love you, bye.